Now to the story of a sea monster with 130 razor sharp teeth, the biting force of a T-Rex and a skull measuring two meters. Scientists discover a new species lurking in the depths of the southern ocean. In the past, people have spent a long time learning about Earth and space. Even though we have learned a lot, there are still many things we don't know. Scientists sometimes find strange things that surprise them, like unusual animals and things in space. Here are some of the strangest things that have ever been found. But before we get started, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button. Done that? Let's get into it. The mystery of the Tully Monstrum. Even though scientists can classify millions of animals, some creatures are just too strange. One such example is the Tully Monstrum, found in Illinois, USA. This supposedly 300 million year old fossil is a real head scratcher for scientists. Imagine a worm with fins, tentacles, and a pincer like mouth with sharp teeth. That's the Tully Monstrum. Scientists aren't sure if it's a backbone animal, in other words, a vertebrate like us, or a simpler animal without a backbone, an invertebrate like a worm. It has some features that resemble lampreys, vertebrates, but is missing a key feature a backbone. This makes it unlike any known animal, leaving scientists truly puzzled. Think of the Tully Monstrum as a mystery creature, somewhere between a simple and complex animal. It likely ate other animals with its pincer, but whether it lived alone or with others is unknown. Finding more fossils is the key to solving the mystery of the Tully Monstrum. Talking Mushrooms You might not think of mushrooms as living things, but they are. Scientists recently discovered something strange. Mushrooms may be able to talk to each other. It's not exactly like having a conversation. Instead, they use electrical signals to communicate. These signals change depending on what the mushrooms find, like food or danger. Mushrooms send these messages through a network of tiny threads underground called mycelium. This network acts like a giant nervous system sending messages across the forest floor. The most interesting part is that the electrical signals come in patterns that look similar to words. Scientists are still figuring out what these words mean, but it's a mind-boggling discovery. Could mushrooms have their own language? So while we don't know what the mushrooms are saying yet, it's clear they might be communicating in ways we never imagined. Mummies with golden tongues Even after all these years, archaeologists are still uncovering fascinating secrets about ancient Egypt. Recently, near Cairo, they found something incredible. Two mummies, one male and one female, with golden tongues placed in their mouths. This discovery is significant because the Egyptians believed a golden tongue would allow the deceased to speak with Osiris, the god of the underworld, in the afterlife. While one tomb was damaged, the other remained untouched, revealing a wealth of treasures including jars, amulets and figurines. These figurines were believed to act as servants for the deceased in the afterlife, performing tasks as needed. While the mystery of the plundered tomb remains unsolved, the perfectly preserved male mummy offers valuable information about ancient Egyptian burial practices. It's a reminder that there's still much to learn about these fascinating people and their beliefs. The Platypus Cryptids are creatures like Bigfoot and the Loch Ness Monster that people believe might exist, but haven't been proven real. But sometimes what seems like a fantastical creature turns out to be real, like the platypus. This bizarre animal with a duck bill, otter body and beaver tail was once dismissed as a hoax. Scientists couldn't believe that such a strange creature could exist. However, when the platypus was finally discovered, it challenged everything we knew about the animal kingdom. It's a mammal, but it lays eggs. It feeds its young milk that oozes from its skin, and male platypuses have venomous spurs on their feet. The platypus is a reminder that nature is full of surprises. It shows us that even the most fantastical creatures can be real and that there's still so much to discover about our world. So next time you hear about a strange creature, don't be too quick to dismiss it. It might just turn out to be the next amazing discovery. Unveiling the Lost Kingdom of Punt While the story of Atlantis captures our imaginations, there's another lost kingdom shrouded in even more mystery. Punt this ancient land, known as God's Land to the Egyptians, flourished around 1400 BC and was a crucial trading partner for Egypt, supplying them with treasures like gold, incense and exotic animals. 
Despite this close relationship, Funt's location remained a frustrating enigma for centuries, mentioned in Egyptian texts but never truly pinned down. However, a recent discovery might finally rewrite history. By analyzing the isotopes of baboon mummies from Egypt, archaeologists believe they've traced the baboon's origins back to present-day Eritrea and eastern Ethiopia. This exciting revelation suggests that Punt was likely located in this region, offering a long-awaited answer to a historical puzzle. But even as this discovery brings us closer to understanding Punt, questions linger. Who were the people of this lost kingdom? How did their civilization thrive? and what led to their eventual disappearance. The quest to unravel the mysteries of Punt continues, but this breakthrough offers a promising path forward, one that might finally shed light on this fascinating piece of the past. A Golden Egg The ocean depths hold countless wonders and mysteries, and this golden egg discovered recently is a prime example. Found by scientists exploring the Alaskan seabed, this object has sparked debate and captivated imaginations. Measuring just over four inches in diameter, the egg-shaped object is golden and delicate to the touch, resembling skin tissue. With no known creature matching this description, scientists are unsure whether it's an egg casing, the remains of a marine sponge, or something entirely new. DNA analysis is currently underway, which may offer some answers. In the meantime, the golden egg remains a captivating enigma, reminding us of the vast unknowns lurking beneath the ocean's surface. Will it ultimately be classified as a bizarre egg, a sponge remnant, or something even more unexpected? Only time and scientific exploration will tell. Witch Bottles The Texas coast has become an unexpected hotspot for a peculiar phenomenon, the discovery of witch bottles. These mysterious glass vessels believed to ward off spirits have been washing ashore since 2017, particularly near Corpus Christi. Traditionally, witch bottles filled with various items like nails, twigs, and even bodily fluids were used in magical practices to trap negative intentions directed towards the owner. Chase Tunnel from the Heart Research Institute for Gulf of Mexico Studies has discovered several of these bottles. While he chooses not to bring them inside his home, he speculates they might be of Haitian origin based on the accompanying debris. They could also have originated from other parts of the Caribbean, South America, or West Africa, carried by currents. Unlike traditional witch bottles, which often contain more unsettling items, the Texas bottles typically hold herbs, sticks, and leaves. Experts advise against opening these bottles due to potential biohazards and out of respect for the cultural beliefs they may represent. So if you ever encounter a bottle on the beach, it's best to err on the side of caution and leave it undisturbed. Regardless of your belief in the supernatural, respecting cultural practices and potential health risks is always wise. Pickle-shaped creatures in the summer of 2017, something strange happened off the coast of British Columbia, Canada. The water filled up with huge groups of creatures that looked like big, pale pickles. These pickles are actually called pyrosomes. They glow in the dark, which is why they're also called fire bodies. They aren't dangerous to people, but they've become more and more common in this area. Scientists think the pyrosomes got there by getting caught in warm ocean currents. They can reproduce quickly and eat the same food as shrimp, crabs, and clams. This could be a problem for these animals and the fish that eat them, like salmon and whales. Scientists even found pyrosomes in the stomachs of some fish, which means they're everywhere in the ocean. While they might seem funny-looking, they could have a big impact on the entire ocean ecosystem. Finding them was one of the strangest things to happen in the ocean that year. Real-life vampire deer Forget Dracula, these vampire deer are real, but they don't drink blood. They're actually called Chinese water deer, found in parts of China and Korea. These deer are amazing swimmers, making them comfortable in rivers, swamps, mountains, and even grasslands. Unlike most deer with antlers, male Chinese water deer have long, sharp canine teeth that look like fangs. They use these fangs to fight for mates, defend their territory, and scare off predators. These shy animals are mostly active at night and prefer to be alone or with one other deer. They have a unique way of talking to each other, using high-pitched barks to warn about danger. While they may look cute and cuddly, remember that they're wild animals and shouldn't be approached. But next time you see a picture of a deer with fangs, you'll know it's the fascinating Chinese water deer. Q 
curious case of Steve Mulligan. Steve Mulligan's story challenges our understanding of life and death. Born in Manchester in 1961, Steve claims a past life so vivid it seems impossible. After undergoing hypnosis, he believes he unlocked memories of being Sidney Sutcliffe, a World War I pilot from Landodno, Wales. These memories go beyond fleeting images. Steve describes details like Sidney's childhood, family life, and even his father's job as an entertainer. Additionally, he recalls his war experiences as a photographer and gunner, including the harrowing details of being shot down over France. Driven by these memories, Steve and his partner Sharon traveled to Landodno. He felt an unsettling familiarity, like walking forgotten paths. Their quest led them to the war memorial where they found Sidney Sutcliffe's name among fallen soldiers. In the cemetery, they discovered the graves of Sidney's parents Abraham and Roa Sutcliffe. Here, Steve presents a puzzling coincidence. Roa passed away in 1960, and he was born in 1961, just nine months later. This to him suggests a spiritual continuity, as if Roa's passing made way for his rebirth. Whether Steve's story is genuine or a remarkable fabrication remains a mystery. Does it showcase reincarnation, or is it a powerful case of imagination fueled by suggestion? The answer, dear friends, is yours to decide. The Antarctic Strawberry Imagine encountering this underwater creature while scuba diving. Its strawberry-like body, though more on the horrifying side, ten rays and an astonishing twenty feathery arms propelling it through the water with an eerie elegance. You wouldn't be alone in mistaking it for an alien visitor. This peculiar creature, recently classified by scientists, is the Antarctic Strawberry Feather Star. Despite the name, its color changes from purple to dark red. Not exactly appetizing. Belonging to the same group as starfish and sea urchins, this member of the Feather Star family resides in the icy waters around the South Sandwich Islands, Antarctica. Thankfully, encountering these alien creatures is rare. They prefer the deep blue, dwelling between 200 and almost 3,900 feet below the surface, so while they may be bizarre, they pose no threat to divers. The next time you explore the ocean's depths, remember the Antarctic Strawberry Feather Star, a stark reminder of the strange and beautiful creatures that lurk beneath the waves. A thriving ecosystem Deep beneath the ocean's surface, in one of the most unlikely places imaginable, lies a hidden world teeming with life. In 2023, researchers stumbled upon an incredible discovery. A thriving ecosystem nestled 8,200 feet down near the East Pacific Rise, close to a scorching hot hydrothermal vent. These vents, essentially underwater geysers, spew forth superheated water, creating unique and isolated ecosystems in the absence of sunlight. It's a harsh environment, but for some life forms, it's home. Enter the extremophiles organisms with the remarkable ability to thrive in extreme conditions. These hardy creatures have adapted to life 8,200 feet down, enduring crushing pressure, perpetual darkness, and scorching temperatures. Red tube worms and white microbial mats are just some of the inhabitants of this newly discovered world. Scientists were amazed by the sheer resilience of these organisms and their ability to flourish in such an unforgiving environment. This discovery serves as a powerful reminder of the vastness and diversity of life on Earth. It also highlights the countless mysteries that lie hidden within the ocean's unexplored depths. Who knows what other remarkable creatures and ecosystems await us in the abyss? This is a thrilling reminder that life in its endless adaptability can find a way to thrive even in the most unexpected and challenging environments. Unveiling the Past our journey through the strange and wondrous takes us to the sun-baked sands of the Arabian Peninsula. In 2023, archaeologists unearthed magnificent camel carvings nestled in the embrace of a reddish rock formation. These 2,000-year-old artworks hint at a time when the region teemed with wild camels, a stark contrast to the arid landscape of today. While the creators of these carvings remain shrouded in mystery, the artistry displayed suggests a sophisticated ancient civilization yet to be fully discovered. Shifting gears, we encounter a woman from Asia who stumbled upon a perplexing sight while returning from the beach. Drawn by strange sounds, she witnessed humanoid figures perched on a sea wall. These bizarre beings, smaller than humans, vanished into the water upon noticing her. Whether this is a cryptid, a hoax, or something beyond our current understanding, the story remains a fascinating enigma. 
the mystery of the enigmatic sword. This video delves into the captivating story of a 13th century sword unearthed from the river Whittam in England. Inscribed on its blade is a peculiar message, a jumble of letters that has baffled historians and scholars for centuries. This double-edged sword, lightly wielded by a wealthy knight, represents the typical weaponry of European knights during its time. However, unlike its counterparts, this sword holds a unique secret, the inscription. Crafted in gold wire, the inscription has remained a mystery for over a century. Theories abound, with some suggesting a religious origin due to its cryptic nature. Mark van Hassel, an expert on such weapons, believes the language might be Latin, a common choice for medieval inscriptions. He proposes that parts of the inscription could be abbreviations for religious phrases, possibly referencing the Lord and the Holy Trinity. The British Library, eager to unravel this historical enigma, even sought public assistance to decipher the code. Despite the immense interest, the true meaning of the inscription remains a puzzle. That's all for today. Do you have a specific topic you'd like to explore further? Share your interests in the comments below.